Ikino means can do, and it is the first in the nation statewide student news network. And in this episode, you'll see what our schools in Hawaii can do with a camera, a computer, and a lot of hard work. Students and teachers pitch stories and talk about what's important and how much time and effort each story deserves and put a story together. And then they do rough drafts with video and with writing. And eventually, this newscast forms that is an example of good storytelling and accurate information. Here's Maui High School to tell us more about Tasaka Guri Guri. From start to finish, it's hands-on for students. Teachers and PBS Hawaii don't do any writing, researching, shooting, anything. It's the students' work. They're, they drive it. We have 55 schools throughout the state, middle and high schools, participating, which was more than we thought would enter in the, in jump in in the beginning. Nine of them are from Maui. From Maui, we have stories from Maui High School and Maui Waina Intermediate School. My Maui, my loa no te kula te te, a me te kula kamali ohana. There's Maui High School and, of course, Maui Waina Intermediate. On this show, you'll hear from diverse voices across the island chain. Telling stories that connect communities. On Hiki no! Can do! There's a teacher on Maui who is on our teacher's steering committee and he's, he's, he runs a very good program at Maui High School. It's Clint Gima. So he's an influential leader of Hikino and his school has won national awards, of course. The very first group of anchors of um, Hikino uh, uh, was, were from Maui Waina and one of them turned out to be the boy who would win the spelling bee, Christopher Kim. Every Hikino weekly newscast debuts Mondays at 5 on PBS Hawaii, and then you can look for it all week online. We, we repeat the newscast as well on TV, but you can always find it online at pbshawaii.org. And you can see all of the Hikino newscasts, including one involving students from Ni'ihau speaking in the Ni'ihau dialect, which very few people even get to hear, and here they are. It's a living language. They're reporting the news in it. You know, you'd think it might be me because I came over from the news business, but I actually had no intention of ever doing news again after I left news. Um, no, this, this came about because uh, PBS Hawaii is an educational broadcaster and multimedia company and we wanted to do something that would help um, students get ahead in the future, help them with their schoolwork, help them in the workforce and this is all the 21st century skills that educators and business people say are the most important are used and learned in the process of storytelling and you know you know, school should be fun. It should be something like that they're excited about and that they want to do. It shouldn't be drudgery and boring and terrible because how do we expect them to absorb anything if they're already building up walls against it? You got this, come on. There is no other job that you can come to every day and be around people who are so funny and so interesting and so curious. And when you give them a chance to do good stuff, you ready? They'll do it better than you ever expected. I mean, they work so hard. If you haven't checked it out in a while, um, come back to it because there's some wonderful shows and it's non-commercial. The whole idea is enriching lifelong learning and this television station belongs to us. It's a community resource. It is statewide and you see that uh, we're on every island. We, we've been making, we, we actually don't have offices on every island, but we travel a lot and we're really engaging far more deeply than ever with our students and teachers and it's, it's really exciting. But the main thing I want people to know is that this belongs to Hawaii. It's a community resource. PBS.